Well, today we're seeing some spots with street flooding as multiple rounds of storms sweep through the area. Good evening and thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Cherise Gibson and I'm Katie Moore. As the rain arrives, we're also seeing some scattered power outages. Nothing really too major at this point. Most of the people, in fact, who lost power around lunchtime are now back online. Yeah, we'll take a look at the outage map in a moment. But first tonight, we check with WWL Chief Meteorologist Chris Franklin for an update on what to expect for the rest of this evening. Chris, the models have been doing a great job of indicating how much more rain we could see during the overnight hours or maybe even later this evening, but we'll take a look at radar. Something that isn't a big surprise and want to alleviate some fears is that the Hurricane Center is highlighting the area that we've been talking about over the last several days with a low end 20% chance of possible development, but not very likely. This is the same area we've been talking about and saying that it was possible, but not looking highly likely. And really the thinking for the impacts to us have not changed. It'll keep us on a wetter pattern into the coming days. Now, some of the models indicated more of the offshore showers moving in during the later evening hours. However, notice a lot of what is south of the southeast Louisiana coast has been weakening as it moves north. Now, there is kind of a complex that may move more over the south central Louisiana, the Atchafalaya Basin, and could clip and continue to clip some of our bayou parishes. We'll see if that trend continues through the night. Also, some rain that we've had along our Louisiana coast have been falling apart. Inland, though, we have been relatively dry over the last several hours. So some good news to what bit of flooding we did see earlier in the day. At the moment, overcast skies outside at the moment and temperatures thankfully in the 80s. And I think with rain starting early tomorrow morning, regardless if we get anything during the overnight hours, rain starting early tomorrow will keep temperatures again in the 80s. Not a complete washout for our holiday weekend. More on when we will see some drier days ahead in just a few minutes.